We are Kristen and Michael. If you're new to our channel, we bought our house in July of 2021 and renovated it ourselves with the help of our family and friends. We saved up a bunch of money and did what we could with what we had. And we have been a short-term rental since November of 2021. We have a five-star rating and we are documenting the journey now of updating our house and doing more renovations as well as what it's like hosting on Airbnb. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to continue following our journey. I'm headed to the house today to water the plants. I wanna make sure that the you know, window sills are clean and just make sure that the house is nice and ready for people to arrive. I know we did have it cleaned last Sunday, but it is now Friday. So I just wanna make sure it's in good shape for the people coming tomorrow. Oh my God. The fiddle leaf. We were taking such good care of you. Sir, ma'am. Oh, geez. Oh, man. Oh, it's so dry. No. Fiddle leaf. And then there's two new ones sprouting. So, okay, we're doing okay. Drink up, baby. checking to make sure they have enough of the towels and stuff. Hello. Make sure there's no ants or anything crazy happening in the house. Found one hair, so I'm gonna throw it down there. Check the toilet, looks good. Flush it once. Bathroom looks good. Cleanses. I just like the way this looks versus it being open. So yeah, let's just check, make sure everything is golden. These are all good. Face wash towels. Let's see how many pool towels there are. One, two. I don't like the way those are a little bit, but that's okay. Three, four. Okay, so there are four. I'm just checking everything. Everything looks good. Let's put back. And then I, what I'm gonna do is vacuum out the windowsills, just because it's been a few days. Look, there's a spider right there. I'm already sweating, it's like 100 degrees today. It's always interesting trying to figure out like what exactly happened, like why is that like that? But it's none of my business, you know? Okay, I got here and this is how much is on the paper towel, which is, it's, it's a lot for a one night stay but I'm gonna swap it out for a full full guy and put this one under the sink. I always like to have one under the sink. This one was under the sink before. It's looking like it should just be used to clean the house now. Um, that's my bad. So what I'm gonna do is just stick this under the sink. I'm gonna put a little bit of water right here. Do one of these, can you see? Yes. Just seal it so then it's not flying around. It's just kind of contained. Welcome oh, back, it looks cute. I always like to check to see if anybody wrote in here. Oh, they did! What a magical place. Thank you for sharing your gorgeous home with us. We had a blast. Sands Electronics. It's the goal, baby. Relaxing in the outdoor tub, cooking food, while watching the sunset over the mountains. What a special spot you have. We hope to be back soon. The guest book's the best part. Like, I'm gonna shake everything out and clean out the windowsills. And I'm gonna grab my chocla because during the summer, these bitches come to play. And by bitches, I mean spiders. Nothing here. It's good. This cactus, I'm gonna go water these.
pick Michael up tonight from the airport at eight o'clock. He's been out of town for work for a few days. We're all done, everything's cleaned up. I've been here for about three hours, so I'm ready to go since no one's here to hang out. Remember last year's prickly pear harvest? Well, I put that in the freezer for almost probably nine months. And I was thinking, why haven't I done anything with this yet? So while Michael was out of town, I made some prickly pear juice. This was my first time ever doing it. And it was interesting tasting, not my favorite, maybe more so for like a mocktail or margarita, but it was really fun to try it out. And I'm gonna do the same thing again this year and gift it to other people. I also made ice cube trays of these to keep them for Topo Chico's, which I haven't tried yet, but I will let you know how that tastes. I just added lime and made a simple syrup up to go with it now that the fun stuff is out of the way it's time to get down to work michael and i are starting on the drip system that we are putting in the front for the tree of life plants and the plants below the windows in front of our house because they have been struggling we know for a long time and this drip system is going to be a game changer requires three batteries not included okay so we need double a batteries Smart Wi-Fi? No, this is tried and true. Did we get? We got enough. We got it all. Oh my gosh, you it's so me. annoying. There's so many parts to this puzzle. That's crazy. We're back. We are back. Today is going to be a very hot and fun day. We've got something really fun planned, and that's sprinklers. So the first thing I was gonna do was replace this, because when I turn it on, this sprays out like crazy. So I was gonna replace it with this, but I got a male instead of a female. So we have to like dismantle this entire thing. Fun. <laughs> Okay, so I got this part off of it, but if you notice, this is a half inch and this is three quarters of an inch. And they added a like an adapter right here, but this is all stuck together. And I don't know if I have the patience and it probably just needs a new one. So I'm gonna go see if I can find either a half inch or get a new adapter and a new hose bib because this one's leaking. This is my secret spot <laughs> here in Yucca Valley. This is my secret spot. Don't drive 35 minutes to Home Depot. Drive to Parker's. We're back and we're better than ever. Okay, that goes there. Yeah. There we go. So we'll put some Teflon tape on it and then this goes right here. That looks awesome. Okay, I think that's closed. So let me go turn it on. So this is on with no leaks, which is great. And then you put the splitter on. Notice they're staying on. No water comes through. It's great. You told me there were no leaks. There's a leak. I didn't see that. That's a tiny ass leak. Well, there's <laughs> supposed to be no leaks. Oh. to vacuum breaker valve. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I watched YouTube videos and this is what they said. So you go from the timer to the vacuum breaker valve to a filter to the pressure regulator to the coupler that the connector that we can plug into. So it's gonna look like this on the front of the house, which is so ugly. And I was thinking about painting it, so we got some spray paint. My dad was like, why don't you just plant a bush in front of it? That might be something we do in the future, is put like a big cactus in front of it. We're gonna have to put something that covers this area because that does not look pretty.
We just found what we think. We watch Oak Island for all those history nerds out there. This looks like a musket ball. It's heavy, it's iron. It is rusted, so you know it's some kind of metal iron, I'm we're see assuming. It. See it right there? Yeah, that's crazy. This was in our planter, you guys. It's like, did this kill someone? How would this have gotten here? I don't know. Okay, so this is another I saw it on YouTube. <laughs> Duct tape is hose. What we've made is a, a water hose ramrod that'll just bore right through the bottom of this in like no time. Is this really called a ramrod? It's called hydraulic drilling. Okay. Yeah. So will you turn the water on over there? Okay, here we go. All right, ramrod. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> So now what we're gonna do is duct tape the tube to the PVC and pull it through so that the um, tubing just runs under the sidewalk. Does it need, oh, okay, so that, it should be low down there because you're gonna attach one. I'm guessing. That's how it works. Cool. cool. Oh, it's dripping right here. Oh, yeah, because it's on timer. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so, clip just a little bit off. Okay. Well, I guess we don't need to. No. We can just do this. Yeah. you can empty out the pipes oh. so the water doesn't freeze. Oh wow, that's smart. Okay, so we got the cap on down here. We laid the pipe all the way across here. And um, although it's ran out there for now, it'll come across here and run up here and then they'll branch off and get all of these. Um, and we're gonna plant some more in here. But we are going to now connect the micro tube and put little drippers on each of these. We're gonna test it out on this side first. And if it works, then we'll continue over here. We'll see how much steam we have left today. Gosh, I can't believe we're doing this. It's so amazing. It's like, it was last on my list. I wish I had more excitement about it. Necessary project. But I am excited. They're dripping! At least, oh. I mean, that one's shooting out. This is, these are normal. Okay, that's normal? These are normal. This one's like in the ground. Okay, yeah, this seems normal. That one's just messed up. This one's just messed up. Once we have them all, once there's like 20 more. Oh, yeah. There won't be as much pressure and they'll just dribble out. Okay, that makes me feel so much better. You guys are going to come back to life. But all of these are working. We still need to do this side. Yeah. So as you can see, this is how far we've got today. We're starving. So we're going to go to our favorite local pizza place. Um, we'll take you along. This 
my friends, this is why we bought this house. This is why we love this area. Like, look at this. And you know what Kristen's doing right now? She's filling up the cowboy pool because we are going to go for a dip. Okay, let's look at this again. Look at that. Great rising, it is 5.30 a.m. The sun is coming up and I have to work today so we're gonna get an early start. Do you hear that? What is that noise? What is that? the girl I want to see. Can you help me real quick? Wow, you did a good job. You nailed it in. Yeah, but that's just temporary to hold it until we feel dirt on. Unscrew it first before the this one can go in. Oh. And then it tighten it clamps it in there. Let's test her out. Craig Tester. Minute drip. I hear it. There we go. It works. Timer works and everything. We'll just have to get the correct like openness on the, the, the valve. So we just did a, a run, it seems like, and we got all the directions set. You can see the wet spots around each plant. That's what we want. We are now going to go through and fill in the hose in different area codes, right? Doug, Doug, Dimba, Doug. First thing I do is get the laundry in because that way I can make the bed fresh and then go from there, top to bottom, you know? Somewhere in this pile of laundry is the clean sheets. <laughs> I'll just dive right in here. So I look crazy because I've been dunking my head in the cowboy pool in between working on the outside of the house, getting it all cleaned up from everything that we did. I figured out how to program the timer. It's actually super easy. You start at, what do you, you start at set clock, you set the clock and then you turn it. It says start time. You say what time you want it to start. 
and then you turn it again and then it says how long you set that and then you turn it again you say how often and then you turn it to auto to start it so um if there's any plant experts out there we have agave i think they're blue agave and aloe these barrel cactus i'm going to set it to run for 10 minutes once a week it's the height of summer now it's just cleaning up and um getting the garage back together because i just tore it apart and then i can go inside and help Kristen clean up our mess in the house and then we can get out of here oh i have one last thing to do I mean, it's not the exact same white, but it's close enough. That'll do, pig. That'll do. We'll, f we'll figure it out when we put a bush and stuff here, but that'll work. All right, say your goodbyes.